On Saturday, the champions were in town as Motherwell took on Celtic. Yes, I mean, Celtic being the champions, obviously. But anyway, Motherwell were on the lookout for a first win against the champions for 28 games. Yes, I've seen probably about 26 games against Celtic that we have not won since 2015. Match day 7 today, Celtic at home. Prediction. You know, I'm fed up of coming here or going to Glasgow, seeing us get turned over time and time again. I said this last week and we're due a result against them, but I don't think it's going to be today. You know, Celtic playing a reserve or sub goalkeeper because Joe Hart got sent off last week. I can easily just say that it's a good chance for us to get results against them. Well, just let the players do the talking on the pitch. It's up to them, not me. So I'm going to predict a 3-1 defeat today, but in the hopes that I get proven wrong. Here we go, on the way. If there's a chance to take a kick quickly, it's now. <laughs> well, they're not looking. Offside. That's a foul. Come on. Oh, I forgot it's Willie Coleman's referee. Oh, that is beautiful. That's I'll take that. I suppose that's us even. He's offside. Well called that guy! That, that would be... Did he have? Absolutely no way. Absolute play acting there. Give him a fucking Oscar. How? No way, man. No way. I can't believe that the audacity of calling there to give a, a yellow card for something that wasn't even a, uh, a high foot. Absolute brutal. If it was anything, it might have been dissentful, but that was that was not that was not a free kick. Played him. Well done, Slash. <laughs> oh, what, what a ball, what a touch. Get up, dive in cheek. Wake up, mother, come on. One of these chances that's going to come back and bite us because you only get half a sniff against Rangers or Celtic. <laughs> that, that was the time to take the lead. And then we grew into the game as they didn't score, we grew in confidence. And then the last 20, 
25 minutes or so. I'm very pleased with how it's gone and we've had a couple of chances in which we could have done better and you know if we were just a bit more careful in front of goal who knows we could be in the lead. I mean Celtic have had a couple of half chances themselves but as they always were going to carve but they've not really carved us open at all. If anything it's been us that's been doing the carving. Um, but yeah the, the free kick that we took quickly it got a shot away and then a cross back across goal and uh, unfortunately it didn't go in and then that chance with Brody Spencer breaking forward it was the exact same sort of chance that he had against Rangers last week when he, he broke forward but of course Tavernier won a free kick off it because of the Ibrox influence but if he looks up and cuts back then there's two or three players that could put it in the back of the net, unmarked. But, you know, if we keep this up, then I'm, I'm quite hopeful that we can go and get a result here. Celtic making a change, James Morris coming on. And that's the mother old team out. Come on, the good guys. And we're off again for another 45 minutes. Oh my, you... Go and play him, play him. Come on, play away. He's got time. Yes. Oh, come on. I'm lucky. This would be a perfect time for a Bevis McGabby goal. Although a bit too early. It's not late enough. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. He's offside. No, they'll, they'll give a foul on Scott Bain. <laughs> yeah. Offside. One of the harshest goals I've ever seen us concede, honestly. There is no way we deserve to lose this game for the third week running. Come on, get ball in. Come on. McGabby's. Oh. Oh, yes! 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 Come on! Come on! Yes! Get it fucking up, yes! What?
one one come on nothing more than we deserve <sighs> all that for a drop of blood nah It's just after 8 o'clock and I've had plenty of time, I've watched sports scene uh, so I can digest what horror happened in front of us. Um, honestly, I'm proud of the team, like we have constantly played very well recently. Today just took the piss really, um, the amount of times we, we, we pressed the Celtic back line and you know just goes to show why they are champions they don't need to break a sweat and they can still win a game i mean it's disheartening like supporting a club like motherwell and there is the odd hope that you can actually potentially get a result and then oh no scottish football slaps you in the face uh, <laughs> that's just what it is supporting a club like motherwell like we absolutely deserved something out of that game today and I'm surprised I was shocked that we weren't winning at half time we had a couple of really decent chances just before the break like we held out Celtic for the first 20-25 minutes and then we grew into the match as it went on and the fact we weren't 1-0 up at half time that, that, that frustrated me but I was happy with how we were playing and nothing really changed for the second half up steps uh, Palma with a wicked cross into the box and I think it just dumbfounded everyone and beat Liam Kelly and uh, it was a slice of luck that Celtic needed to take to take the lead and uh, then we still kept pushing we made a change and we got our deserved equaliser in the 95th minute and when there's five minutes added on you don't expect anything else to happen that said with there being pitch invasions substitutions, injuries, the referee's always going to add more time on. Yeah, Celtic fans pitch invading at 1-0 in the 87th minute, being retaliated by the well boys, jumping onto the park to go with the Celtic fans at one each. We're all thinking that's the final say on the matter. And uh, then, boom, bang a bang, 40 seconds left. It's going to take me a couple of days to get over this result, uh, but I'm proud of the boys for the performance. We've got to take the moral high ground here because we've been playing really well recently and to get zero points out of nine is not a, it's not a disaster. Kettlewell's got a good group of boys and if, 
if we had one Dutch striker, I'm pretty sure we'd be higher in the league than we actually are right now. And I think we're fifth. So to have gone three games without a, without anything to show for it and still be comfortably in the top half of the table shows us a remarkable amount of progression in the team with the next two fixtures being at Livingston and St Johnson. So I, I am quite confident that we can go forward from this day and, you know, go for a hopefully a strong finish this season but anyway guys thank you very much for watching and uh, enjoy my tears while they're there because that's what you're here to see anyway guys i'll see you later take care